previous generations of men, your ancestors lived different lives than the lives that we're living. There was a culture of manhood that kept the society together. Between work, family, community, and everything else, that life gets busy and you become more isolated. And so what we need to realize is men, just like women, kids, everything else, need fellowship with one another. To encourage men who, in their leadership roles as husbands, fathers, business leaders, leaders in their community or organizations. The common bond basically is not for men to be afraid to ask for help. Because he knows that somehow manhood is not a, 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 an individual sport, it's a team sport. That you've got to be intentional in building your band of brothers. That it's not going to happen by accident. If you want to be exceptional in life, you're going to need the help of other men around you. So the big focus here is that we have to let the spirit, which is in all of us, move in men. And that even if people don't realize they have that in them. When we have a group of men to, to hold ourselves accountable, uh, we can start to break through that pride and, and understand that we're not the only ones going through whatever is burdening us in life. Until you can get the walls down, let go of the egos, let go of the facade that we all want to, like we all have it all together, you can't get at the heart of what's truly important. It's about helping a man be his best. But you got to know him, you got to be able to see him 3D so he can become what he's called to be, what he's made to be. Well, what we've done is we've reached out to the Madison community, guys in particular, to bring them together to try and make connections. And that's what the talk today is about, is a band of brothers, getting guys connected, because very few guys have deep relationships. And unless you have deep relationships, it's hard to talk about the balancing of work, family, and faith, which is what this organization, Leading with Power, is about. I just think it's powerful to not stay static in my growth as a noble man. And we have to start someplace. So this was really a great reminder, but it, it's in the doing. It's, it, you know, it's gotta be a daily thing and we have to be deliberate about it. It's a contagious culture of manhood. And what we, what, what's great about it is that then we have something to bring up the young men in. Set the tone, be the leader. Um, be transparent, you know, take off the mask and be a real man. Yeah, it definitely changes people's lives, yeah.